Welcome to the Public Education Foundation's podcast series featuring excellent teachers in Hamilton County. For more information on excellent teachers and how the Public Education Foundation is working to spread excellence to every classroom, visit www.pefchattanooga.org. Like most Americans, elementary teachers are often less comfortable with math than with other subjects, yet they are typically asked to teach all subjects. That's why teachers at Woodmore Elementary School are so grateful for the help of an expert math coach like Mary Holland. Join us as we learn math in Mary Holland's excellent classroom. Could we find the area of this rectangle? Yes. Curry, how would you do? Today we were working on area, and the students had previously done problems with area of rectangles, area of triangles, area of parallelograms, and even complex polygons but they only knew how to do it by solving triangles and rectangles. So today we went into a new strategy, Peak's Formula, where the kids actually got to count the points on the outside of the polygon and the points on the inside of the polygon and use a formula to solve. And they found it was much easier than just always breaking it down into the parts of the complex polygon. So if I write A equals, one I half. still have to keep the one half in my problem times, what was your base? Four. Four. You want to use that as your base? You can't use the side as your base, it's okay. Miss Holly is a really good teacher to me, cause, but she be working us real hard to death. She be working us hard to death, but I do like that, so I can learn a lot of new stuff. Every lesson that I do, I don't teach one strategy, because I, I really think that the kids are forced to think in one way, that's what shuts them down a lot of times. Because if they don't understand that one way, I can't do it, why should I try? But if you allow them to have different methods of learning, then they're like, oh, I didn't understand that, but I understand this. So they're willing to continue to try to learn math and they will try the things that were hard for them because they already have something that works for them. My eight times nine, and then we got that What was eight times nine? Mm -hmm. I've been so blessed to have her as, um, as a peer, to work with her um, in math. There have, there have been a couple units, a couple chapters in math this year that she has stayed with me after school almost every single day for maybe a week or so while we get through a unit that I feel like my students aren't really understanding and maybe I just don't understand how to speak their language. And so I really appreciate the expertise of teachers that have taught for a long time that are just outstanding teachers and the time that they take to sit down with me and share with me um, strategies that they use to teach. My favorite thing as a lead teacher is working with brand new teachers. I call them my baby teachers <laughs> because they come in and you know they're, they're like a, a chalkboard that's blank. They've had this training in college that didn't prepare them for the classroom because these are real kids. <laughs> and just they are so frustrated and you go in and you, you work with them on skills and I love teaching the math content to, to people so I go in I do a lot of math content and I make sure they're doing different strategies you have to do some things with teaching them how you do classroom management because I think that's one of the hardest things for new teachers uh, she, she must she must know a lot to be teaching her and she teaches teacher, like different strategies to teach their children and she's teaching us them too so we can be smarter than some teachers. I've gone several times and watched her teach and watched her um, teaching in the classroom. And um, if our planning time is not during when she's teaching math, I know that they're really good here at Woodmore working with us to having someone come in to sub our class so we can go and take that time because they really stress the importance of that, of watching the way she goes through the lessons and you know presents materials. Another thing I know she's willing to do, she'll come into our classes and teach our class and we can sit in the back and observe. And that's helpful because it's our own students and so we can see the way she handles you know certain students that may struggle with this area or that area and we can see the way she handles it and then take notes on that and then we can implement the strategies that she uses. But right now I'm looking for you to have a rectangle with two long parallel sides and two shorter parallel sides. I get students who are afraid of math and when they leave my class they're not afraid anymore. They learn how to think, they learn a lot of different strategies so they not just learn how to solve a problem, but they get an understanding of why the problem works.
Thank you for visiting the classroom of one of Hamilton County's many excellent teachers. For more on excellent teachers and the Public Education Foundation, visit www.pefchattanooga.org.